Hi, Mike from the Rural Montana family. In this video, we're going to look at a few things where the Chevy Bolt beats the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. I know a lot of people don't think that a cheap Chevy Bolt can be better in certain places than a Tesla, but this 2020 Chevy Bolt has some features that are better than in the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Let's go. The first feature that is better in the Chevy Bolt, in this 2020 Chevy Bolt EV, is definitely the steering wheel heat and the driver and passenger seat heater. When I get in in the morning and it's cool out, it will automatically turn on the steering wheel heat and the seat heaters and just the seat heater where somebody is sitting. So if there's no passenger, it will not turn the passenger seat heater on. If there is a passenger, it will turn both of them on. And as you can see, there's three little dots. So there is low, medium and high. And it will not just start out at high or low or whatever, or where you had it last or something. No, it will start out at low, medium or high according to the ambient temperature. So if it's really super cold, it will start out at high. If it's just a little cold, it will start out at low. So this is really super cool. And it does that automatically. Also the steering wheel heater will come on according to the temperature. There is no settings. There is only one, it's either on or off. So it will just be on and then you will turn it off when you feel like it. The big advantage of this is in the morning it's cold, you get in the car, it's 50, it's 40, 50 degrees out, it feels cool, the seat heater comes on, in the afternoon it's 75 and you don't need the seat heater and it will be off. In the Tesla it will still be on in the afternoon if you left it on when you went out of the car. So this is a huge advantage over the Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. Also some of the first Tesla Model 3s do not have steering wheel heat. I think this was implemented in 2020 or 2021 with the first. So there is three or four model years probably without steering wheel heat in the Tesla Model 3. So that is one item where Chevy Bolt beats the Tesla Model Y and Model 3. Another thing where the Chevy Bolt beats the Tesla is by the possibility to customize your center screen. This here is the center screen set to my home layout the way I like it. But you can change this layout. So you can choose your different things over here. You can choose this, you can rearrange it. There is uh, quite a few possibilities to change that so that it looks the way you want and that it shows the things you want to see. But it doesn't end here. Your dash cluster here can be adjusted too. And you go into the settings over here. This is a little slower than the Tesla. And it's maybe not as simple to find things and go through, but it has the option of the display settings. Now over here, you can see, we see the center dash cluster screen. And we can change that around. So the color just changed. Call it changed again. So there is several different things we can do. So I like it in the black eclipse night color only. So it looks like this all the time, but that is totally up to you. But there is more than just the color you can change. 
So you see there is a menu and an arrow to the left and here on the steering wheel we can press the left and then we get options there. And now I can go through these options and again change things on this dash cluster here. So my layout is currently enhanced but we can change that all over the place. and it will show different things. So I can not just change the color, I can change the layout as well. So I can make it look the way I want it to and so that it shows what I'd like to see. And so you can also, you can change so many things here. You can show whatever you want to uh, down below your speedometer basically. So you have a ton of options with, uh, with this layout here. Make it look different, have different colors, have it show different things. There is no such option in the Model 3 or Model Y. Yes, the Model S and the Model X do have options for the dash cluster where you can show different things, but not on the Model 3 and the Model Y. They just have the center screen and whatever Tesla gives you is what you got. And what we got in the last major update at the beginning of 2021, it sucks. The visualization screen takes up way too much room. The map got smaller. I don't like it. Uh, the new layout of the icons on there, it all changed and I don't like it. I like the previous one much better, but I can't change it. There is no such option. You get what you get. Here in the Chevy Bolt, I can adjust the dash cluster and I can adjust the center screen to my liking. Another option that many people like and use is Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And we have this feature here in the 2020 Chevy Bolt. Unfortunately, in the 2020 Chevy Bolt, we got to be tethered to the car with the phone. So it's not working via Bluetooth. So you have to actually plug in the phone. That is a disadvantage. But if you have been using Apple CarPlay or Android Auto in your ICE car and now you're switching over to an EV and you can just keep on using it here and you're familiar with, that is very convenient and makes it really easy. Tesla does not offer Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. They have their own system, their own environment and so you're somewhat limited with things you can do and you have to use some workarounds in order to access all these features that are really easily accessible here just with Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. So this is another advantage of the Chevy Bolt over the Tesla. So there is quite a few differences between a Chevy Bolt and a Tesla, obviously, but just because the Chevy Bolt is so much cheaper doesn't mean it's so much less. It actually has some features that are better than the Tesla. And you got to make your choice. That is all personal preference. Well, if you like the Tesla, you may not be able to have all these features. Some of the things that I shown obviously can be easily changed in software like the CT, their controls can be changed in the software. Um, different layouts of the dashboard can be changed in the software. It's no big deal at all. Even Android Auto and Apple CarPlay can be changed in the software of a Tesla. So Tesla could possibly eventually adopt some of those things and change them and make them work. That is one of the big advantages of Tesla. But currently the 2020 Chevy Bolt beats the Tesla in those three items. Well, that is it for this video. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so yet. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.